Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the multiple pop-up effect in Camtasia 9. All right, so I'm here in Camtasia 9, and you can pretty much do this multiple pop-up effect with a whole bunch of different types of media. So you can do this with text, pictures, videos. I'm actually going to be doing this with the uh, the library icons that they give you in Camtasia 9. So I'll be showing you guys how to do that with just some random icons here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose a bunch of stuff right now and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I'm just going to put a bunch of random type items Let's see here okay how many do we have so far okay one two three four through here five All right, so this is just an example. These are 10 like picture icons here from Camtasia 9. Like I said, you can do this with text, pictures, or videos. So let me show you how to do this. So you know how like sometimes in a video, they have just like multiple things popping up one after the other. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So once you have all of you know your media that you want I've got 10 different icons here I'm just going to size this accordingly because the timeline was fully magnified so I'm just gonna bring that in a little more okay so we've got our 10 icons here and then I'm gonna put the first one here I'm gonna put the second one here now the key is you can stagger them or you can have them pop up all the same time. I'm going to make them staggered. So I'll show you what I mean by that. That's basically like making the icons look like it's a bunch of stairs walking up. So if you see here at the top, it's the keyboard. Oh, I have some more items. Hold on one second. So let me just finish up here. This is how you stagger the icons. You just put one a little bit after the other and it looks like it's like stairs going down, like diagonal stairs. So now when I get to the first icon, this is huge. So I want to resize this. I don't want it to be that big. I maybe want it to go pop up over here, right? And then the second one, I'm going to do the same thing. I want it to pop up over here. Third one, I'm going to have it pop up over here. And then I'm just going to go through real quick here and resize the other icons. Okay, so I've finished resizing all the icons. Now, you may notice that, okay, this one's gonna pop up, and then this one, and then this one, and then that one, but then the first one's gone, like it expired. So if you want them to all stay on the screen at the same time, then you need to lengthen each icon. So I'm just gonna make them all like this length, just to show you having all of them pop up and stay on the screen. I mean, there's a bunch of different ways that you can do this. You can have them pop up and then just go away altogether. But if you want to populate the screen with a bunch of icons or whatever text videos, this is how you would do it. You need to extend each icon or media, whatever you have on there. I'm just basically clicking and dragging and I'm going to make sure all of them are going to be the same length when they finish. They're not the same length as a whole, but they're going to be the same length 
when they all finish. So they'll all disappear at the same time. Okay, so that's all of them. So as you can see, they're all going to be popping up here. I'm just going to move a couple of them just so we have them spaced out a little more. Move this one over here. Okay, so we have them all spaced out. And if you if you don't like, if you want, let's say, the star to, to be on top, then you need to move the star media to the top of your timeline. It's literally whatever is the highest point here, that's going to be what's going on top, and then there's different layers. This controller here, that's at the bottom layer, but nothing is covering it, so it doesn't show. But if I were to take this keyboard, see, it's always going to be covered because it's at the very bottom. But if you want the controller to be at the top, then you need to move it to the top of the timeline. So I'm just going to play here what we've got, and then I'll show you a little bit more features of, of what you can do to spruce it up. So I'll just play it right now. So there's the controller then the mouse pad, the star, the key lock, some gear thing, a heart, a mouse, oh no, sorry, that was a keyboard, and then buildings, and then I think another building. Okay, so that was 10 icons that just popped up all on the screen. Now you can get really creative with this, and if you do it properly, it's gonna look really cool. So let me show you some cool stuff that you can do with behaviors if you add them in. So I'm just gonna play around here and I'm gonna put different behaviors on each of the icons so you guys can see like how cool it could be. So each one's gonna have a different one. Okay, last one. So I've added behaviors to each of these icons and you guys can get a feel. Obviously, I personally wouldn't add a different behavior for each one, but I'm just showing you guys all the different kinds of behaviors that you can add to your media. Again, you can do this on text, images, videos, the behavior will work on that media that you use. So I'm going to click play here and you guys can see the multiple pop-up effect. So there was the controller, the mouse, So you can see they're all animating right now and it looks pretty fun, right? Like it's like a cartoon almost. So you can see that's all of them right there and it looks pretty neat and then they all just like went away. And within each behavior, you can alter what is happening to that specific item. So you can choose the way it comes in. You can have it go faster or slower, what happens during that specific behavior and how it leaves the screen. You might not want it to uh, fly out of there. You could just have it stay the entire time. That's the cool thing with the behaviors is you can make it totally customizable. So that is how you do the multiple pop-up effect in Camtasia 9. If I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like these types of videos, head down to the description below because I have a bunch more free Camtasia 9 tutorials for you guys. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.